Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today to our Yorkshire Dales waterfall photography hiking trip. Um, so after doing around 10 miles around Keld in day one, um, we are actually going to some more easier access waterfalls today. Um, that's why I'm here at Wensley, um, made famous for actually lending its name to the area of the Yorkshire Dale, Wensley Dale, which I'm sure you all know is famous for cheese. So, beautiful little spot here. It's literally 30 seconds from where you park your car up. Um, it's quite a big green canopy um, blocking out the light. It is actually quite bright today. Um, so the canopy is actually, I haven't even got any grad filters on there and I'm still managing to get it shot at around F8, F9, one second exposure, ISO 100 as standard. Um, yeah, stay tuned for this one because we're going to be hitting up quite a lot of the easier access falls. For those that maybe aren't so keen on hiking, you will be able to find quite a lot of things here which are all short walks, easy access from where you want to, uh, where, you, where you park your car. So, stay tuned, I'll see you guys in a minute. Next up then is Harmby Falls. Um, I literally just parked my car on the main street in Harmby and instantly saw the sign which just said waterfall. Um, yeah, when I followed the instructions on this one, apparently there's two little falls here. Um, so we'll see really, I've never been to this one before. I've never been to the one in Wensley as well that I went to just before this. Um, not sure if my mic's actually picking it up. I can already hear running water, which is already a good sign. <coughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, so there's a lovely little bridge here with just some water running underneath it. And I've just seen the main falls. Right, I'm gonna crack on. See you guys in a minute. So as I said, really easy to find, a uh, 30 second walk, um, there's a little bridge that you cross over, there's a gate one side and then no fencing on the other so you can walk both sides and actually get some pictures. Um, it's quite dark down here, um, so you can see obviously because this is trying to expose for me, it's actually blowing out the, uh, the falls there. now. There's quite a bit of water coming over those falls. Considering it's been really dry up here, um, I'd love to see what it's like during a wet spell. Uh, I might actually have to just swing by here again, sort of later in the year. Because um, yeah, I bet that's hellishly impressive to be fair. Now because it's quite dark down here, I've actually had to set the camera up. Um, again, I've got no uh, ND filters on there. What I'm actually shooting at is one second, F9, and I've had to actually put the ISO up to 200, which I never do, um, or I try not to at least anyway. Uh, it's not really going to make that much difference to be honest with you, from 100 to 200, um, but yeah, happy days. Now apparently there is another falls around here as well. Um, 
I say, I've never been here, it's just what I've actually read online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple more shots, pop over to the other side and get a couple of shots from that side just to make sure I've covered all bases. And then once I've done that, I'm going to go on a little walk and just see what I can actually see. Maybe see you guys in a minute. Three tiers, all good drops. Um, it's nice to look at. There's one hell of a canopy over as well as say so, because it is June, there's a lot of green leaves. Um, I'll put some videos probably over overlaying this so you'll be able to see. Um, it's difficult to actually see it all in in one section. Um, I can't find a way down there. Um, looks like there's an area that people have. Uh, made a path with but I'll be honest with you carrying my camera gear down there it'll be really difficult getting down isn't the hardest bit it's getting back up um, but yeah real shame but I'll head back in the car now grab myself a cup of tea What a travesty, just realized I actually forgot to bring my flask with me today. Um, so I'm just gonna have to stick to isotonic drink um, and make my way over to Falls number three. Ah, <sighs> gutted, gutted I ain't got a brew. All right, time for Falls number three. So this will be Melbeck Falls. Uh, again, another one that I've never been to. I've just pulled up in the little village of Carlton. Um, apparently it's a little walk down here, not too far. Although, no, in my luck, I always, always get lost or take the wrong path. So, should only be a five minute walk. Could be longer, don't know. So, I'm gonna get a wiggle on. We'll see you guys shortly. And there we have it, less than quarter of a mile from where I parked. So where you basically start your walk, um, it does depend obviously where you park in Carlton, um, to here, Melbeck Falls. Um, what a beautiful little spot, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it runs down, down here and you've got a little narrow stream that's literally, you can't even see the stream because of the grass, but it's literally just down there. Um, I've got grass in my face. There we go. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get the camera out and start taking some pictures. Now, when I've been doing the research on these places, one thing that was said was that if you actually go back up to the main track and carry on walking, you can actually see where the spring for Mel Beck comes out of the ground. I might have a little trip up there. Uh, might not. Well, it depends if I can find it. I say I've never been here before now. I'm guessing obviously in um, wetter conditions when the weather's actually been raining a lot more, I would be guessing that this, I mean, looking at the, the way that the rocks have actually worn, I would be guessing 
that the flow coming through here is absolutely insane. The problem that you've got is obviously you've only got this tiny little stream. I'm tempted to come back again. Another one of these falls where I'm tempted to come back once it's actually had some decent rainfall. Um, so yeah, stick with us, check out the pictures. So I've made it up here. Um, it's quite a cute little place. You can see just there, all these rock slides. I'm guessing Melbeck starts underneath there somewhere. And then you've got all this cliff edge just up here. And then if I swing round, you can probably see just behind me, just here, that's Melbeck. So photography wise, I'm probably not even gonna whip the camera out. Um, it was only another five minutes up here. Uh, worth a trip if you actually come down to see Melbeck Falls. It's definitely worth a trip to come up to this bit. Um, it'll only take you an extra five minutes. Ground is very uneven. I wouldn't recommend it if you're not able walking. Rabbit holes everywhere in the landscape. Don't know if you can see them behind me. All these little places like this is full of rabbit holes. Beautiful. I've just I've seen hundreds of bunnies. Um, but I am going to get a wriggle on back to the car. I'm going to head back to my hotel room because I'm really gasping for a brew, to be honest with you, and I'm really disappointed I forgot my flask. But these clouds as well, looking a bit ominous. I know there was meant to be chances of a shower later, so I'm just going to head back now, have a brew, and then we'll chip on back out for part two of this video. So for some reason, my mic didn't actually want to pick up the sound on this bit. Um, this is West Burton Falls. Um, it was literally 30 second walk from the place that I was actually staying at. It's a really easy waterfall to actually get to. You park up on the green. You've probably already seen the signpost. Um, yeah, it's very well photographed and it's an absolutely beautiful spot. Well, I'm not gonna ramble on anymore and uh, yeah, stay tuned. dinner and thought ah, why not one more so I made the short trip from West Burton down to Aysgarth Falls it's literally a five minute drive um, at the moment I'm heading down to the lower falls um, 
there is kind of an access point that you can get down there to uh, to get some shots of the actual falls and then if the weather holds out because it's just starting to drizzle a little bit I'll hit up the upper falls as well um, I've obviously got to get back to pack and sort my room out because I'll check out tomorrow morning um, but yeah best get a wriggle on She is in the background, just there, lower raised garth falls. Now, I've just taken shelter in a little bit of the canopy just above me. Um, rain's just getting a little bit heavier. It's not gonna stop me. It's just while I'm making this bit for you. Um, I thought I'd just take a bit of shelter, stop the camera getting wet. Um, beautiful, cute little site. I'll post it up on here as well. Some little ducklings just swimming along in the uh, the current of Aysgar Falls. Beautiful sight it was. Uh, really made the trip worth coming down here just that for that extra little bit. But yeah, um, she's a little bit lower than when I last came down here. Um, still a lot of force coming through there and there's still plenty of water in the river as well. Um, one thing I love about here as well, I don't know if you'll be able to see, just near my camera, all these little worn holes in the rocks. Yeah, look at all of them. Fascinating. Just a really cute little thing. Um, but yeah, happy days. Let's get on with some pictures before I get absolutely soaked. Lower falls, done. I just took a trip up to what I think was the middle falls. I could be wrong, it was a nice little series of falls. But it was quite uninspiring, it was nice. But that was it, so. Got about 20 minutes till sunset. Not that it's really gonna matter with a sky like that. But I wanna make the most of the light to get down to Upper Aysgarth, so little out of breath because I'm getting a wiggle on so hopefully I'll catch you guys at the upper falls so I'm almost at the upper falls now um, Still a little bit out of breath, as you can see. I know I'm in the canopies of the trees, but uh, yeah, it's getting a bit dark. Um, what I will say is that this whole day two video log was about the easy access waterfalls. And if you park in the uh, National Park Centre's car park, A, the money goes to helping the Yorkshire is actually run by uh, the Yorkshire Dales National Park. Also as well, it is slap bang in the middle of the falls. Now, the lower falls are, I think it's about 800 metres from the car park in one direction. The upper falls are about 200, 250 metres in the other direction. So it's not like literally you get out of your car and there's a waterfall, but it is what I would consider one of the more easy access ones. Now, there is another car park at the top of the hill. You have to drive down a quite a steep hill, but there is another car park at the top of the hill and it's an NCP. Now, as far as I'm aware, I obviously haven't read their signs, but it does um, mean that the money goes to the company rather than back into the Dales. And obviously to try and keep the, with the upkeep of this, you need to, 
put money towards these things to, to continue to maintain these wonderful places. So, you know, park in the centre car park and, you know, help maintain this beautiful area. The whole of the Yorkshire Dales National Park, not just Ays Garth, but all of it. Right, now I'm nearly at the upper falls, literally, I can hear it. So I'm gonna chuck off now and take some pictures. I'll check in with you guys when we're done. Upper Ays Garth Falls. It's a bit dry like the rest of the falls. Um, obviously the Dales have had a lack of rain over recent times. Um, it's not as grand as when I was up here last September, but hopefully still got some good pictures, which you guys will obviously be able to see after this. Now, I'm gonna get a wiggle on back to the hotel. Um, I've got packing to do. I've got planning for tomorrow, day three. Another day, another vlog, so. Yeah, hopefully tune in for that one. Thank you very much for tuning into this one. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope you've watched day one as well. Um, but yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe, everyone.